Hello and welcome to this series of video lessons that will help you get started building Windows Phone 7 applications using Visual Studio 2010 Express for Windows Phone. This series is intended for a beginner audience. If you've had little or no programming experience in the past, this is for you. If you're already writing C Sharp and Silverlight applications, well, you might still find parts of this useful as a gentle introduction to programming the Windows Phone 7. Uh, however, depending on how much experience you have, you might find that there are better resources available that go at a faster pace than what we're going to go, so this might not be the best use of your time. You might want to look, at the very least, at the last video in this video series titled, Where to Go From Here, I'll point you to some of the resources that I found most useful as I was getting started developing phone applications. I've separated the video lessons into four days as a suggested serving size, so to speak. Uh, and in most cases, the lessons build on topics that were discussed previously, so it'll make the most sense to you if you work through them in order, but feel free to skip around to those topics that interest you most. But each day is going to end with a homework assignment that will test what you learn in the videos. I also provide the solution to the homework in case you get stuck or if you want to see another approach to solving the assignment. There's no doubt about it. You'll learn a lot more when you get your hands dirty in Visual Studio and struggle to build your first applications than you ever will by simply watching videos or reading articles or reading a book. So this is a must. Commit up front to doing the homework assignments before you move on to the next day's worth of videos. My friends, it's simply impossible to teach you everything that you're ever going to need to know about C Sharp and Silverlight and the Windows Phone 7 in just four days. So I had to be selective and only choose those topics that give you the biggest bang for the buck. If I could only teach you a dozen things about C Sharp, the .NET Framework, or Silverlight so that you could be immediately productive, what would I choose? Well, that's what I intend to do in this series. When it's over, you're, you'll still have a lot of learning to do, and there are many wonderful resources on Microsoft.com, in books, and on the internet. However, if you like what I've done here, please take a moment to visit my website, www.learnvisualstudio.net. I have hundreds of screencast tutorial videos just like these that will pick up where these videos leave off, teaching many different topics to help beginners become experts in the shortest amount of time possible. Okay, so the overall progression will go something like this. I'm going to start with building the most simple application from beginning to end, and I'm going to use this uh, to give you a quick introduction to every step in the process, uh, beginning with building the unit user interface, writing some code, debugging the code in the Windows Phone 7 emulator, uh, and so on. And then I'm going to spend several videos discussing what just happened. Why did I do what I did and how did we, how did we make that work? So then next I'm going to focus then on the C Sharp programming language and the .NET framework. These are general topics that could apply to writing Windows applications, web applications, Silverlight applications that are hosted within a web browser, but they're core topics that you have to master in order to become productive in building Windows Phone 7 applications as well. I'm going to then talk about Silverlight and then finally ease our way into Windows Phone 7 specific topics. Once we finish with the more formal instruction in the first three days, then I'm going to demonstrate on the fourth day how to create a more full featured application that will combine many of the concepts that I discussed earlier in this video series. The application will allow a user to jot down notes on the phone and it'll save and retrieve those notes from the phone's flash drive. And then finally, it'll use the phone's GPS functionality to determine the latitude and longitude where the user actually took the note. And we'll use a web service to retrieve the city, state, and country where that note was created. Uh, and then we're going to save that information into the note as well. That's going to be pretty neat, right? So as we get started, I can't tell you how excited I am for you. 
First of all, it is so much fun to build applications, especially Windows Phone 7 applications. I love writing software. I love using Visual Studio. And I'm so excited to be able to use C Sharp and Silverlight to build applications that will run on my Windows Phone 7. Uh, I've had so many ideas as I was getting ready and preparing for this series of videos. I could be busy for another year building all these ideas that I came up with. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity in the years ahead in this arena, and so you couldn't be getting started at a better time, and that's why I'm excited for you. I can't wait to see what you come up with, so I wish you good luck, and we're going to get started in the next video. Thank you.